everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez, and this is the Weekly Report, a look at news from the city of Kansas City, Missouri. Welcome visitors to KC. This weekend, thousands of visitors are enjoying several major events in downtown Kansas City. Basketball fans are cheering at the annual Big 12 Championship at Sprint Center. Sci-fi fans have taken over the Kansas City Convention Center for Planet Comic Con. And Grammy-winning jazz performer Terry Lynn Carrington is at Gem Theater. And of course, no visit to KC would be complete without some barbecue. The Kansas City Campus Q-Off pits barbecue teams from each of the Big 12 universities in four meet categories, aiming for the title of 2015 Campus Q-Off Grand Champion. If you need information on how to get around downtown or where to park, check out our website at kcmo.gov. The city's parking page includes a list of parking garages maintained by the city. Kansas City's new click and park option makes it easy to find and prepay parking in city-owned parking garages. You can even print out a parking permit before you even leave the house or office. Also, the new Park Mobile app allows visitors and residents to pay for parking at meters with your smartphone without digging for coins. It can send you an alert so that you can feed the meter from your phone without going back to your car. For more information on parking, these special events, and other great places to visit, be sure to check out our webpage at kcmo.gov. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. Hi, my name is Jocelyn Ball Edson. I'm a landscape architect with the Parks and Recreation Department. Today we're at the J.C. Nichols Fountain looking at the restoration process. The progress is going great. The contractors have been out here on site since um, early, mid-January, and uh, they've been working on the concrete. They've uh, replaced all of the concrete bases uh, for the sculptures, and they're fixing cracks and uh, hawks and other problems in the, in the fountain floor and walls, and they'll be doing some patching on the, on the coping stones around the perimeter of the fountain, and then we're going to be applying waterproof coatings to both of those surfaces. So uh, they're making really good progress. And we've been lucky with the weather, especially this week. We're very lucky with the weather right now. It's great. And so they're just forging ahead and trying to get it all done by April 14th. Well, the, fount the sculptures were removed because the basin had to be repaired and it couldn't be done with the sculptures in place. So the work we're doing here, we would normally do on site, but uh, we're doing it in a warehouse now because um, they had to be removed. So we're doing a maintenance treatment on the outside of them, which means we've cleaned them, and now we're applying a protective wax coating to them. Um, it's a hot wax. We actually use a, a blowtorch to heat the surface of the, the metal to make it hot enough that it'll melt the wax. The, the wax is a mixture of, of uh, naphtha and the wax itself, because the wax is a very hard wax, and you couldn't actually brush it. Um, in, its, in its native state. So you dissolve it in the, the naphtha and that allows you to brush it on. That burns off and you end up with a very hard wax on the, the surface of it. The thing that's unique about having them in this kind of a situation is that we're actually able to go up inside of them and look at the condition on the inside of them and do any maintenance that we need to do in there. That's a rare opportunity. And we did find that one of them had a whole series of iron bolts that were holding it together and they were all corroded and falling apart so that we could take, remove those and put um, silicon bronze bolts back in place. You know, it's always an honor to be able to work on, on these pieces and, and it's a joy because you get to see them up close and look at the detail, look at the quality of, you know, the artist's work. The four dolphins with the kids riding them are really pretty spectacular. Um, the, there was one face of one of the, the children who's looks like he's barely has his dolphin under control and he has such determination on his face. I really, really love that. We will be having our Fountain Day celebration. We have a celebration for Fountain Day, the day the fountains are turned on. Uh, every year we have it at a different fountain and this year we'll be having that here and it'll be a kind of combined ceremony for Fountain, fountain Day opening ceremonies as well as the unveiling of the restored fountain. For more information, people can visit us at our website, kcparks.org and we'll have more information on that site as well as ongoing updates.
welcome you once again uh, to it's a celebration of our first anniversary of the Mayor's Women's Empowerment Initiative. I would like to uh, introduce our keynote speaker today who is who needs no introduction. He is uh, Mr. Kansas City in many ways. <laughs> And I could go formally through his bio, but I'm not going to do that. I think what I would like to do, though, is just focus on the fact that the mayor has been uh, an amazing um, cheerleader for our city. He has been out in numerous, numerous pieces of e in terms of economic development, civic engagement, you name it, education. He has been out there on the forefront, not just on behalf of the citizens of Kansas City, but on behalf of our region. And so I think we owe him a, you know, just a debt. Uh, a gratitude because of the work that he just he just naturally loves to do because he really loves our city and so with that I'd like to introduce the Honorable Mayor Sly James thank you and um, first let me let me say thank you all and I appreciate CeCe's very generous introduction but let me just tell you that um, I found that my job is basically um, managing to uh, get people to work together and move forward and when we do that a whole lot of good things happen and that's exactly what we've done and that's really all we've done got a great staff we get people marshaled in the right directions that they want to go and then we help push and that's a good thing so good morning to everybody and thanks for being here today really do appreciate it and I just want to say wow what a difference a year makes uh, today and I am happy extremely happy to report that every single one, every single one of the strategies of the WE Blueprint has either been completed or is in progress. That includes the exploration and implementation of more family-friendly policies at City Hall, such as the designation of a breastfeeding room on site at City Hall with a confidential electronic calendar uh, system to add privacy for our nursing mothers, distributing an RFI to numerous child care organizations to help us examine our options for offering child care to our employees, working to ensure that transitional work policies are inclusive of pregnancy. For example, if you're a firefighter and you break your leg, they don't expect you to climb up a ladder. But if you're a woman firefighter and you're pregnant, you shouldn't be expected to climb up a ladder either, and you should still be able to keep your job. Uh, but the fact that we've gotten a lot of things done and the fact that we have established a very good infrastructure for working together doesn't mean that the task is over. We have a lot more left to do. We're, one of the things that we're doing is we're currently researching whether and how paid maternity and paternity leave might work at the city. And we still need more women on our boards and commissions. So rest assured, we have lots of work left to do. And I hope you'll join me for WE 2.0 event in, and in September, we're going to have a hackathon to find ways to solve some of the issues that I've just mentioned. So again, thanks for joining me here today. Thank you for all your hard work to ensure that women of Kansas City are given every opportunity to succeed. We need to keep it up. We need to continue to work together. We're here at the $74 million Leon Mercer Jordan East Patrol Division Station and Crime Lab Project. Uh, we're here for a very special uh, occasion. Uh, Sunny Joy Thompson Ruffin is an artist and we've been working with her for the last several months and she's been um, a very integral part of our team as we've tried to integrate and, and successfully reflect uh, the community in which this campus is being special. built. This is our front porch, by the way, for the building. And we know that there are porches as part of this neighborhood. We've, and, it, and it was an intentional design feature to have a, have a building that had a, had a front porch to it. And on that front porch, we knew that there could be a place for something special that spoke to the neighborhood, not just about the police department and the city, but about the neighborhood. So it's, the story is about community. That's what this piece is about. But it's also about the police understanding that they're an integral part of the community because when they take off those uniforms they go back into the community they're everyday folk you know so it was important for me to utilize the correct colors blue is very calming red of course is sacrifice yellow is much energy um, and and the doors were very important on this because I so when you're working with color 
And I'm a textile artist by trade, a quilt artist by trade, and a storyteller by trade. There is a story that is with this particular piece of artwork, and it speaks to grace, and it speaks to community, and how we are all intertwined through the thread of community. Come over here and grab your yellow fruit. All right. And land in the front. Like so. Yep, get it to the line. Bring it all the way up. It's go. on it, Charlie. There you go. It's on the line. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superhero Weekend at the Kansas City Zoo. Join Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, and Spider-Man on March 21st and 22nd. Be sure to bring your cameras for this great family event. Check out the zoo's website at kansascityzoo.org for more information. For information about these stories, please log on to kcmo.gov and search for the weekly report. To view this program again or any other Channel 2 video, visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash KCMO CCO. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.